So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another milestone player review. Today EA dropped the Bundesliga milestone objectives and with them obviously does come a reward player. For completing the Bundesliga league player milestone, you unlock an 86 rated Belgian CDM who plays for Cologne and his name I believe is pronounced Verstrate and um, the card looks alright but let's be honest it's not super appealing and at this stage of the game you probably would have hoped for better but nonetheless in this video today we're going to try this item out just to see how it performs in matches in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on this item will you be completing the Bundesliga milestone objectives to get this card let me know all that good stuff in that comment section down below also if you could leave a like rating on this video that would be very much appreciated I've just been grinding for the past few hours to unlock this card so uh, hopefully you guys can uh, you know drop a like rating on this video for the grind um, anyway, this is the team we're going to be using this guy in, full Bundesliga side with uh, a couple of special items mixed about. Now let's have a look at this item itself. It's got pretty good pace for a midfielder already uh, with 83 um, and his defensive uh, dribbling, physical and passing stats also look okay as well. Now, uh, in-game attributes wise, the guy has some pretty nice looking stats, but he's also got a couple which don't make him look like the most appealing CDM, to be honest. First of all, I think his pace is absolutely fine for a midfielder, no complaints in that department. The shooting section also looks okay for a defensive mid. Yeah, his finishing sucks, but that doesn't really matter. Good shot power though is nice to see, so if we get the chance with this guy, maybe we will take off a shot or two. Um, he's also got a good penalty stat, so maybe he could be our penalty taker, I guess. Uh, the passing attributes, they don't look too shabby either. Uh, good short passing rating of 87 and pretty good long passing too of 89. So uh, not bad in that passing section. The dribbling department also for a defensive mid um, doesn't seem too bad either. Good agility of 90 and nice balance of 89 too. So uh, hopefully in possession this guy doesn't feel too bad. Obviously he doesn't have the best in-game dribbling rating or brilliant reactions. But uh, still should feel okay with possession. Now, his defensive stats, they are, they're alright, they are alright on face value, um, but they're not amazing, and that's why I'm going to be using the Sentinel chem style on this guy to help boost his defensive stats by a decent um, margin. I'm also using the Sentinel chem style on purpose so that his physical stats get boosted too, because he's only got 73 strength, and that is not that good for a, a defensive player, so we're going to use Sentinel to uh, give him that plus 10 on his strength, and that hopefully will help out a lot. This guy is 5 foot 9 in game, and he does have pretty high jumping of 91, so it'll be interesting to see how this guy is aerially in matches. It's good to see that he's got really high aggression though, so he should fight for the ball a lot, and it's also very good to see he's got 96 stamina, because he's got high, high work rates, so this guy should in theory be pretty active in game. Anyway, let's get into some matches and see how we get on with the Belgian midfielder. Just quickly before we get into the games, if you do want to keep up to date with everything that's happening in the world of football, don't forget to check out the sponsors of this video, OneFootball. Their app is free to download and to use and it can provide you with pretty much whatever you want to know about your favourite team or players um, in football. For instance, if we wanted to check out how this guy is doing in real life, we can just pull up his page and we can check out his stats for the season. Okay, so with that out of the way, we can get into a match, and this is what we're up against first. A very nice looking team, which features the likes of Neymar, Mbappe, Salah, a couple of icons. He's actually got the 91 rated Zidane, and it's not alone, so uh, yeah, definitely a lot of players to watch out for in this game, because my opponent's team is definitely much, much better than mine. There's a chance for the Belgian on the ball, controls it well, and slides through the pass for Leon Bailey, best right here. Just going to go for it from distance, you know, and that's not a terrible effort. Found myself in a bit of space and thought, you know what, why not? Oh, nice. Belgium closing down my opposition's attack. There's an opportunity. See that run up top. Can we get on the end of that? Oh, Nabry almost did. Trying to my punch come forward, but Vestrata gets his foot to it, and now maybe a chance to counter attack. We've got a bit of space here. Oh, interesting situation there, which we've somehow come away with the ball with. Oh, chance. The edge of the box, we're going to shoot across goal and to Stegen. Well, at the break, the scores are all tied up at 2-2. 
I'm going to switch formation for the second half. The guy's work rate is just having like all up, all over the pitch right now. He's up and down constantly. We're going to switch to the 4-2-3-1 uh, formation to see how he acts in like a formation where we've got a bit of a pivot. Nice. Just sweeping up at the back there. Nice tackle. Oh, I just couldn't get to that ball there before Neymar. Oh, what a big tackle that was. That could have been game over if we didn't make that there. And fortunately, we couldn't get the win in that fixture. We really should have. We had a great chance towards the end, which uh, we unfortunately wasted. But anyway, how was the Belgian CDM on debut? Um, much better in the second half than he was in the first. In the first, he just his positioning didn't feel great at all. But in the second, he just sat back a bit more and uh, got involved uh, more defensively, which was nice. Three for three on tackles one in that game, and he's passing and dribbling uh, to a high completion rate too, which is good. The next team we face is this like ridiculous looking Bundesliga side, which features like. 12, not not 12, can I even count? There's only 11 players on the field. It features like 11 different um, ultimate team cards, which is uh, absolutely mad. Oh, very early start for the Belgian, just wins the ball straight away. On him again, nice tackle. Now can we get an assist? Slide it round, oh, just couldn't get that pass. Passed Saint just. Chance, gonna go for that long ball, and this might actually end up being profitable. Or not. Gonna go for that long ball over the top. If he gets on the end of that, that's a cracking ball. Great run by Kerman. A brilliant pass from the Belgian. And chance to score as well, but I just couldn't pull the trigger much quicker. There's a chance. And the ball through. There's a bit of a run there. Massive gap. And barely can he keep going. Oh, he's gonna put it inside. The Belgian gets a chance to shoot, but Rousselon just. Just an opportunity here. A bit of space. We'll go for the shot. That's gonna go into the back of the net as well. We've finally broken the deadlock. From distance, the Belgian gets on a score sheet. At the break, we have ourselves a one-goal lead, thanks to a late goal from um, the milestone player. Um, pretty much throughout the full first half, I couldn't really break my opponent down too much. And then, like in like the final five minutes, just found myself in a bit of space with him. Went for a long shot, and uh, we have ourselves a lead. For the second 45, we will, of course, be changing formation once more to the 4-2-3-1. And we will go forth like this, obviously. He won't be playing in CDM, but Witzel will be. Chance in the box. Put it across there. Oh, what? That was an attacking header from Rousselon. Did you see what happened there? Well, just after half time, I got myself a second goal, and my opponent decided that was enough for him, and he decided to rage quit. A big match rating came for Vestrate, though, in this game, uh, making three out of three tackles once more, and uh, his dribbling and passing percentage. Ooh, his dribbling percentage is pretty good, but his passing percentage wasn't too great in this fixture. Still, nonetheless, he felt pretty solid in this game for as long as it lasted. Okay, so after a few more outings with this Belgian CDM in my team, what's the verdict on the card? Um, good item to be honest, definitely a usable card as well, and uh, for the most part got the job done in the CDM role for me. It does have one or two negatives which I will highlight in a moment, but it's also got a couple of notable positives which is obviously good too. So, let's break things down. First of all, his pace, no complaints there, pretty quick for a midfielder. Um, as I say, nothing really negative to say about his pace. If you were worried about that, obviously you could apply a shadow chem style or an anchor chem style to him. But uh, as I say, I personally think he is quick enough. Um, his shooting obviously doesn't matter too much. But what I will say is he's got a pretty good power shot on him, which is nice. But his shots for the most part are not too accurate. His passing, I thought was great. Really don't have any complaints there. As long as you pass off of his right foot. He's got a freestyle weak foot and his left foot's pretty crap to be honest. So uh, always try and distribute off of his right foot if you can do so. His dribbling for a defensive mid, I thought that was actually very good. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this guy's an insane dribbler. But for his position, I think his dribbling is uh, pretty nice. So I was happy with that. Could you use this guy as a centre mid? I think his dribbling is good enough for that role, to be honest. But I wouldn't use him in um, any further advanced roles. Defensively, how is this item? 
Um, once again, solid. Now, I do have to obviously mention that I do have a chem style on him that boosted his defense in, uh, defending a lot, sorry. So that obviously helped. But um, in one-on-one -on -one situations, um, he was very aggressive to get to the ball. And his tackling also felt uh, like it was very good too. So I'm happy with that. And also made some uh, interceptions, which was great. He's very active with his uh, movement. And uh, he does sweep up a lot of attacks from time to time, which is nice. Uh, finally, physically, how is this guy? Um, really good stamina, so he never seemed tired for me, which was great. And like I already touched on, really high aggression as well. So he does battle for the ball quite a bit. But... I do have to point out the fact that his strength isn't amazing. Now, I'm not saying strength is bad, but up against like the top tier elite attackers that have got good strength, this guy can be held off the ball, um, which can obviously be frustrating. Uh, there's one more thing that I do have to mention with this guy. In fact, two more things. First of all, his aerial ability is pretty meh. He's five foot nine and does have good jumping, but um, yeah, he's still not too strong in it, the aerial department. And the other thing I have to mention is this guy's wear crates. He likes to shoot forward um, from time to time and get involved with attacks due to them high, high wear crates. So that's something to note. You can obviously counter that by telling this guy to stay back while attacking. And if you're going to use this guy as a DM, that is something I definitely advise. So in summary, I'm coming away from this review feeling pretty positive about this item. It's definitely a usable card. And if you're on with a Bundesliga team, I definitely do advise picking up this item because uh yeah it's a pretty good tenacious cdm item just definitely advise that stay back while attacking instruction on him um anyway guys those are my thoughts on the 86 rated belgian cdm i uh, hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do leave a like rating on it comment below your thoughts on this card thanks for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next one